everybody and welcome back to Home Savvy Tech. I recently picked up the Samsung Galaxy A52s, one of the better mid-range phones available in the market today. And this was basically to replace the iPhone SE first gen for an immediate family member. So one of the things that a lot of users face for a challenge is how to transfer all of the data from one ecosystem to another. So I looked up a few articles on the internet and understood how this could be done. So I'm making a first hand attempt at transferring all of the information, including WhatsApp from the Apple iPhone SE to the Samsung A52s. I'm basically going to be using the smart switch utility that Samsung provides and this should work right from the word go, which means I don't have to do anything apart from boot up the Samsung phone, connect it to the iPhone and get started with the setup process. So before we begin the transfer process, there are a few things I'd like to advise. Number one, keep both of the phones fully charged, particularly the Samsung phone, because this is not only going to be a long process, but it will also charge the iPhone as you continue the process. Number two, update the software on your iPhone to the latest available version. Now there are minimum versions required for this process to work. I will put that information in the description below so that you can validate that before you start the transfer. Last but not the least, follow the steps that the Samsung Switch utility recommends because most of the things that they do are required for you to transfer data successfully, except of course the optional applications. Use your diligence to decide what you want and what you don't. But in terms of the actual migration steps, I strongly recommend that you follow everything. You will see more of it in the video as we attempt to make the transfer. All right, let's get started with the data transfer. I have now transferred the SIM from the Apple phone to the Samsung and connected both phones using an OTG cable. I pre-configured Wi-Fi so it's obviously able to latch in immediately. I now say copy data. So it's now downloading a smart switch. So my old device is an iPhone and I say agree. This is not required, but for now I will say OK. It says connecting to transfer your data. Say trust the computer. And then let me key in the password here. It says searching for data to transfer. And it's by default choosing all of the op available options which is calls and contacts, messages, apps, data from iPhone apps, settings, home screen, images, videos, audio and documents. Now I don't need documents, I don't need audio, I don't need the home screen, uh, I don't know about the settings but it's just the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth so I'll keep it, keep it selected, data from iPhone apps, uh, calendars not required, notes are not required, bookmarks are not required the clock is not required so i go back here so going to messages uh, i'd say all of the messages i don't think there are too many anyway so one thing that you might notice is uh, obviously that uh, it's expecting me to log into my google account which i will do now so for now i'll take a pause here and sign into my account and then let's continue all right, let's continue here. In the meanwhile, I have also signed in to my Google account on the target phone. So it's now, it's now discovering the apps that are installed on the iPhone and also calculating the data that uh, these apps contain. So you have WhatsApp here, uh, Google Meet, you have Subway Surfers and a couple of other apps. Alright, so I've selected only Google Meet and WhatsApp Messenger. And let's continue with the installation. Okay, so I now get the QR code, which is a very important process for WhatsApp. 
I'll now go back to the iPhone, open WhatsApp, go to settings, chats, and say move chats to Android. And then I'll have to click the start button here. So watch out for this very important message which says continue on your new phone which says you can continue setting up your Android phone when you're done. Open WhatsApp to restore your chat history and media. Do not disconnect your cable yet. So that's an important uh, message. And then I click the next button. So it begins setting up Google services. I'll say backup to Google Drive which is okay for me to do. Let me quickly finish the other settings. Um, Okay, so I've disabled what I don't need and I'll now accept and proceed. Let me just use a pattern for the time being and then uh, I can set up the other methods of uh, authorizing access to the phone later on. Alright, I've set up the pattern and Google Assistant is now trying to figure out uh, what the next steps are. So one thing I notice is that the battery is holding up really well. It's been a good 40 minutes now. And remember that the Samsung phone is actually charging the iPhone while we continue doing the transfer. So let's do these things later on. So it's asking me to configure voice assistant, which I'll probably do later. So one thing interesting that I noticed is when you transfer images and videos from WhatsApp, they are not downloaded by default, which means that you'll actually be saving valuable space on the target phone. So the utility that Samsung provides uh, might impress with that so far. So let's take a break while it's getting the recommended apps downloaded. Alright, it's recommending that I download Samsung Tour Tutor, which I will probably do later. Skip creating a Samsung account. I'll skip all of this out for the time being. Use buttons. Staying with most of the defaults uh, to begin with. All right, let's agree. I had a bit of a had a little bit of trouble uh, disabling the Samsung Pay setup, but let's continue here. So I can see at the left top corner that the apps that were recognized in the very first uh, stage of the transfer are actually getting downloaded now. And let's say continue, skip this for now. I'm going to skip all of this uh, for the time being. All right, as you can see here, uh, the apps that were found from the Apple phone are actually getting downloaded. The equivalent apps are getting downloaded and smart switch has actually completed the data transfer that was really quick because uh, from what i read on the internet uh, the data transfer process including the restoration takes up to a few hours but given the fact that i have very little whatsapp data on the on the apple phone uh, i'm pleasantly surprised to see this process uh, complete really soon but let's see how much of the data is actually restored once the installation of uh, the remaining apps is complete Okay, we are now back after all of the apps have been installed and the data transfer is also complete. 
let's see how it exactly looks. So it says that uh, it was able to transfer about 865 MB of data which is across videos, messages, images, calls and contacts and uh, the matching app recommendations were also installed based on my based on my selection. Let's say next here. All right, so if you don't turn off iMessages on the Apple website, not all text messages will be delivered to your new phone. So that's something that I haven't enabled, so not to worry. Okay, so what I was stored in iCloud can actually be downloaded now, which is what I will attempt to do. Signing into iCloud now. Scanning all of the data that it found on iCloud and is asking my confirmation to transfer the data. It's now beginning to transfer data from iCloud. So upon signing into iCloud, uh, it starts downloading data depending on what data you want downloaded. Uh, you can choose from your contacts, messages, images and uh, other settings as well. Alright, while iCloud continues to restore data that I have selected, let's go and see if uh, the data transfer from Smart Switch was successful for which I'll start with WhatsApp. So as you can see, it is now asking me to set up WhatsApp for the very first time. This is the screen I was waiting to see. It says uh, importing chat history allow access to the folders on your computer it's just begun the import process it's moving fairly quickly because I don't have uh, too much data stored on WhatsApp As you can also notice from the home screen, I see the import progress uh, shown here as a notification. 97 and the import is finally complete. Alright, let me key in a few things and let's continue thereafter. So I'm allowing WhatsApp to access my Google Drive so that the backups can be done as frequently as I mentioned. So here you go. All of the data that we had on WhatsApp is now completely restored. And I'm also able to see all of the other information like contacts and messages available for us to use on the new phone. So we've successfully transferred everything from the iPhone SE to the Samsung Galaxy A52s. The process was a lot simpler than I imagined, although it's a long uh, series of steps. Uh, but we were successfully able to transfer all of the data, perhaps because the data size wasn't too much, because I've heard a lot of people not being able to use this process successfully, primarily because of large sums of data. Now, the other thing that I wanted to mention is that uh, in case the smart switch solution does not work, or if you're using a non-Samsung Android device, you could also try Wondershare Mobile Trans. It's a very popular software, and uh, I've heard a lot of people use it uh, really successfully. So that's pretty much what we have for today. If you have any questions about transferring data from iPhones to Samsung phones, do leave them in the comment section below and I'll try and see if I can answer them. I'm no expert in this area, but I think uh, 
the utility itself is fairly very well built and the latest version of the software that Samsung provides worked seamlessly in my case. Thanks once again for tuning in and stay safe until we meet next time.